When it comes to video games, one of the most memorable parts of any game is the final boss battle. It's the ending thing, and it just sort of puts a cap on the game as a whole. If you have a really good final boss battle, it can elevate your thoughts of a good game. And if you have a really bad boss battle, it can kind of lower your thoughts of a good game, because it's that sort of last impression. But here I'm going to just share with you my top five favorite boss battles, plus one honorable mention as always. Um, however, there are a few notes that I would like to make beforehand, just so that nobody gets really mad because their favorite isn't on the list. First off, I only play Nintendo consoles, so that means that there won't be anything on Xbox or PlayStation or Sega or anything like that that is on this list. Uh, second off, I have had to have beaten the game in order for me to put it on this list, because I'm not going to put a final boss that I've only seen in a Let's Play or from the internet. So, there's... The two main big omissions that I'm going to make from this are Zelda and Final Fantasy. There is nothing from either one of those series on here, so fans of those series are probably going to be disappointed. And in fact, there isn't anything before the N64 on this list either, so old school gamers, you're going to be disappointed too. But with that said, these are just my picks. If you disagree or agree, leave a comment or a video response. Um, I'd like to hear what you think. But anyway, with that said, let's just continue. Now, I'm not sure if this counts as a boss fight to say, so that's why this one's the honorable mention, because this is actually one of my most favorite sequences in all of video games, period. Dahlia is a bitch. And I'm not kidding when I just say she's a bitch in the sort of, you know, oh, she kind of sucks. She is a bitch. She's a homicidal, crazy, paranoid, psychopath. And taking her down is one of the most satisfying things in any video game ever. Now, this would have been much, much higher, but I don't think that it counts as a final boss fight, and it's technically not the last thing that you do in the game, but seeing as the real final villain, sarcastic quotation marks, isn't really a villain and you feel a lot of sympathy for your, her, him, who is it called? I just think that this fits more as the final boss, so that's why it's my honorable mention. Ah, nostalgia. How I love you so. Few people might nostalgize about the Koopa Kids or about all sorts of stuff, but when I think of nostalgia, I think of my first Mario game, Paper Mario, and the freaking forever taking long battle against King Koopa or Bowser in the very, very end. This battle takes freaking forever, and I'm not kidding. You can take out about maybe 20 health in about two or three turns, and then he'll heal 30, making this fight last forever, and it's actually rather hilarious thinking back. But if this fight is long and drawn out, why do I put it on the list? And to be fair, I don't know either, but this is a nostalgia-fueled choice that I kind of have to put on. Uh, but really, there are better final boss fights than this one, and that's why it's on the bottom of the list. So don't get too mad at me about this one, but it's nostalgia, and I have to honor nostalgia because everybody else Uh, Banjo-Tooie is a freaking awesome game. No, I'm not kidding, this game is fucking amazing. If you haven't played it yet, and you have an Xbox, there's no excuse. Buy it now, play it all the way through, 10 plus hours of gameplay there. Sometimes, it might be up to 20 if you don't know what you're doing, and then come back and finish the video. Because this game is amazing. It's interesting, it's unique, it's creative, and it's tons and tons and tons of fun. But when you talk about the boss fight, this has got to be one of the most unique and exciting boss fights in all of video game history. I mean, what other boss fight do you know that has the main villain tr shouting trivia questions at you? Its uniqueness is also a real strength for it because it makes it a whole lot more memorable than in any other boss fight. Like, the boss fight from the original Banjo-Kazooie was rather forgettable and dull, and you actually weren't the one that beat Grunty in the first game, it was the Jindos, which always seemed to land to me, it made Banjo look like a pussy. But in this game, Banjo takes down Grunty and her giant Wormack all by her himself. And this is just awesome. Once again, if you haven't played this game, there's no excuse, go play it. And this boss fight's just a very rewarding fight to play. You hear that organ? That sound is the sound of my nine-year-old body trembling in fear as a gigantic monster from hell comes and eats all of my hard-grown Pikmin and 
completely demolishes me. Emperor Balbax is one of the first times I was ever scared in a game. The very first time being Metroid Fusion, which really, the final boss in that main number was number 7. But getting back to Pikmin, this boss fight was epic in the nth degree. It was awesome. This one is hard to explain in words, but this music really fits it best. It's very scary for a little kid to see this gigantic thing. It's huge in the context of the game, and it's it was just a very exciting battle. It's The fight itself is also pretty cool, too. You have to sacrifice Pikmin, but for the greater good, and it makes you feel really bad, too, because you hate killing your Pikmin off. So you've got this really feel of emotions where your instinct to save your Pikmin Pikmin is, has to be thrown out the window in order to get the last part, which you really don't need anyway. So it makes you feel like a jerk, but that's what makes the fight that much better. Any song with Crush 40 in the background is freaking awesome, but when you've got the final hazard, it just seems that much more epic. You're fighting a giant lizard thing that is attached to a giant meteor space colossus that is heading straight to the Earth as Super Sonic and Super Shadow. That just sums up its epicness right there. And you've got this awesome song in the background, and it's also a very unique fight in itself as you're just trying to kill its giant boils. It seems very weird actually looking back about it, but when you're playing it, this is just the ultimate climax of the game. And see, you actually get a lot of hints to Shadow's untimely end during this fight, you know, with the little people talking and stuff. But it's just, it's awesome. You, you've all played the game, it's awesome. You know that this fight is awesome, and there's nothing more that I can say about it other than it's live and learn in the background. You can't get much more cool than that. Oh, come on, guys, it's a joke. You beat all 16 gyms and the Elite Floor. You go through the entire maze of Silver Cave, and what do you find? You find freaking Ash from the first game. That's awesome. This fight is just so cool. It's nerve-wracking, it's awesome, and it's the hardest fight in any Pokemon game, I think in the entire series, I'm not sure. But, it's... It's, you're fighting Ash Ketchum, that annoying pipsqueak from the Pokemon anime. You finally get to show Ash Ketchum who's boss. I mean, you all have seen the TV show. You all know how stupid Ash is, you know, sending Pikachu against a rock type, being uber annoying, and being able to kick his ass is just awesome. And now you might be thinking, but it's red, not Ash. And that's true. But even if you do think it that way, that's still awesome. You've all played the first Pokemon game and then moved on to gold. And thinking that you're fighting your old self and all of you, you think that you're fighting yourself and being able to beat yourself is actually a really satisfying thing too because you know that you've improved, you know that you've gotten better at games as time has gone on. Well, that's how I felt anyway while fighting, playing this game. Especially when you're a little kid too, you try to escalate everything that you do, so being able to beat yourself at a game is just, it just shows how awesome you are and that's kind of why it's my favorite.